Now, I'm more than used to having a whopping six inch beast packed in my slacks and I'm not talking about my smartphone. Oh no wait, no actually, I am talking about my smartphone because these things are absolute beasts these days. Just when you think they can't possibly grow any more huge, some bright bugger figures out a way of chucking another half an inch on top until we all wind up walking with some kind of comedic John Wayne limp. So I've got to admit, I do get a wee bit moist when I actually get my mitts on something that's easy to use with one hand. I mean, you do get the one-handed mode on the likes of Huawei and Honor smartphones, but it's not the same as something that just fits perfectly in the palm, unlike this absolute monster here. And that's why I decided to do a roundup of the very best mini mobiles that you can buy going into 2019. And don't forget, for more roundups of the latest and greatest smartphone tech reviews and all that other fun shares, to bash subscribe and ding that notification bell. Cheers. So here's something that not even Mystic Meg on a barrel load of crack could have possibly predicted. An all new super dinky Palm smartphone launched just in time for 2019. Just holding this thing makes me feel like some sort of old conquering giant instead of a short ass northern baldy bastard. With its weenie 3.3 inch display, this thing really is comically small. And while Palm itself bigs up this handset as more of a secondary phone for taking to the gym and so on, it is actually fully functional. You can download apps from Google Play, stream some YouTube if you don't mind squinting quite a bit, and even smash out an email which isn't at all completely time consuming and seriously patience testing. But seriously, if you need something to use one handed, this thing is a marvel. That dinky screen is crisp and colourful, performance is absolutely fine, and you even get a 12 megapixel camera to shoot photos and videos of your awesome life. If your needs are simple and your priority is definitely a teeny tiny smartphone that you can stick basically anywhere, then job done. So Sony has long been the saviour of small-handed short asses like myself thanks to its excellent Xperia Compact range and the latest is this dinky wee bugger here, the Xperia XZ2 Compact. The great thing about Sony's compact phones is they boast very similar specs to the full-sized Xperia flagships, but in that miniaturized form factor. So you still get Qualcomm's powerful and efficient Snapdragon 845 chipset for great performance at all times, plus the same brilliant 19 megapixel motion eye camera for shooting slick looking pics, not to mention 4K HDR video. This is the first Xperia compact phone to feature a full HD display, and although it's just a 5 incher, it's still a great way to take in some Netflix shows on the go. You get full HDR support, while Sony's X Reality smarts make standard their footage look all sharp and spangly. And all of this awesomeness is crammed inside a funky looking black or silver shrunken chassis that's fully IP68 water and dust resistant. Butter my spuds and call me a Christmas dinner if this isn't a bloody good all round package. And that's why it's our pick of one of the very best mini phones that you can buy in 2019, at least until the Xperia XZ4 compact or whatever comes along instead. Now we may not be the biggest fan of Google's Pixel 3 smartphone, but one of the very best things about this Android flagship is its diminutive size. At 5.5 inches, it's a bit bigger than the Xperia XZ2 compact, but the new Pixel is still a pleasing fit in the palm, especially compared with most of the mobiles in 2019. This Spockly white model is rather fetching, and for the most part we can't fault the hardware. You get that same beefy Snapdragon 845 chipset, while the 12 megapixel rear camera and that dual lens front facing snapper are both versatile enough to produce good looking shots in almost any conditions. Sadly, one of the Pixel's best and most unique features, that intelligent call screening, isn't coming to the UK anytime soon. Overall, the Pixel 3 is pretty damn good, especially if you want a nice clean stock version of Android and the reassurance of those regular updates. But frankly, that asking price is more nuts than a monkey's ball sack. Hence, we would definitely point you to the Xperia instead, unless you're absolutely loaded, of course. In which case, why not buy both? Although recent iPhones have ballooned in size like Eric Cantona, the standard 10s model is still one of the more compact handsets out there at just 5.8 inches. Yes, I know that's not exactly teeny and it's certainly not helped by those chunky bezels which are thicker than most budget Androids these days, but seriously, this is what I've got to work with these days, people. Basically, anything under 6 inches is officially small. Anyway, the 10s is pretty much exactly what you'd expect from an iPhone. A really nice and impressively accurate OLED screen, plus Apple's powerful A12 chipset and a solid dual lens camera with telephoto lens. And of course, don't forget the price tag that would make any normal fork either snort or pass right out. It's just a shame that the cheaper 10R is even bigger than this thing, not to mention not exactly cheap. Go and check out my full 10s and 10R one month review to see what the difference is and what I reckon. Now if you're on a tight budget, then fear not, Sony is once again to the rescue with its excellent Xperia XA2 handset. This thing was launched a year ago, but we still love that compact finish. Those top and bottom bezels are pretty damn chunky, sure, but the 5.2 inch screen stretches to the very left and right edges of the phone, while the perfectly curved chassis makes for comfy one-handed use. That Snapdragon 630 chipset proves absolutely fine for everyday use, while the 3300mAh battery means effortless all-day operation, even when you're absolutely keen in this thing. 
The Xperia X A2 is great for media, web browsing, all the usual shenanigans, plus that 23 megapixel camera can shoot tasty memories and up to 4K resolution video, and all for under 250 quid in 2019. And another decent budget choice while we're on the subject is the Alcatel 5. We included this 5.7 inch handset in our Rakombu Budget Phones Award because it is solid value for money. Not only does it look really smart for a sub 200 pound blower, but it's also refreshingly easy to use one handed. Sure, it's not exactly blisteringly fast, you will see the odd bout of stutter and slowdown, but besides that, it's hard to pick any faults with the Alcatel 5, at least considering that teeny asking price. So that's my pick of some of the best mini mobiles that won't give you an unsightly bulge if you stash them in your pants. Don't forget, I've personally used and reviewed all of the smartphones that I've included in this roundup. So if I have missed off your own favorite mini mobile, don't forget to leave me a little comment down below. Tell me what a numpty I am. Stay tuned for more roundups of the very best smartphones you can buy right now. And don't forget to poke subscribe and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest tech. Cheers, guys. Love you.